the Stadium series we created in 2009, and we were looking at sort of fascist imagery and ideas of the Ubermensch and Arno Brecker's sculptures and also films made by Lenny Riefenstahl, especially Olympia. Really looking at composition and form. Pilar and I are quite familiar with the work of Lenny Riefenstahl. We've watched her films and we have looked at many of her images. We understand what a fascist aesthetic is. We were interested in transposing that onto Australian culture to comment on the, I guess, the way that we see Australian nationalism. Pilar speaking now. I think that we're thinking about elements of, of racism as well within sport and there's big issues with that sort of stuff with the Indigenous culture here. We decided to work with a local Perth performer, Marie Cole. We uh, created a costume for her, which included a, a Western Australian branded number for her singlet. We decided to shoot at the now demolished Perry Lake Stadium. We took a lot of images with her in front of the stadium, but in the end we went with the, the images of her against the sky. This is Pilar. I think in particular those images were based on the diving scene in Olympia as well as the marathon scene. I think we found the character of Lenny Riefenstahl interesting as well as her, her work because she is so problematic and she did make this incredibly beautiful work but it was covering or sort of disguising this sort of real nasty propaganda and this nasty regime. Even with Olympia, which was kind of, you know, probably considered more neutral, it was still really advertising the sort of German ideals of sort of the Ubermensch and, you know, these sort of bodies training with sport to sort of become these militarised, I don't know, I suppose to, be, to make their bodies strong enough for the military. I think that's sort of what we were looking at and that's why we find Lenny so interesting. Yeah, the, the two lifesaver shots are from a series called the All Australian Surf Lifesaver Series that we uh, we made in 2008. And um, we began work using this idea of this sort of glorified lifesaver after the Cronulla riots, which happened at the end of 2005, 2006, where a Lebanese gang had beaten up a, a lifesaver and in retaliation a whole lot of racist white people with flags around their shoulders began beating up anyone who looked slightly dark within the area. And it was actually really quite a dangerous time. So basically, in response to that, we were looking at the idea of the Australian hero and in reference to the Australian life service. And we sort of wanted to create this sort of idealised utopian beach where uh, these sort of lifesavers are always glammed up, ready to serve, protecting our borders and protecting us as Australians and, and we, I think we just were looking at these ideas of sort of hero worship and, and the portrayal of heroes but also it's sort of really basically pulling the piss out of it as well and making it into this sort of Busby Berkeley-esque you know Florence Ziegfeld type 1940s glam shots as well. I suppose what we do like to do is just observe what is happening around us and that's really just what influences our work and create from that. But um, I suppose in a way we, we are political, but I don't know if we really like the, t the label political artist. I guess we don't set out to make artworks that are political. It's, it's just that we're responding to what's happening around us. Yes. 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>